So I'm voicing over this video after the fact because I realized I didn't uh, do a thing I needed to do in the beginning. Here we go. So I just was working on prepping the Elder spawn for my fight and I started getting chased by a one-star troll with a tree, which is always fun. Now here I'm struggle busting it because I'm running low on stamina. And I uh, run into a whole bunch of gray doors, which is always a good time. Uh, this is my first, I'm pretty sure this is my first one-star troll that I've actually seen in one of the worlds. Um, of course, you have to run into a bunch of uh, skeletons, which actually kind of turns to my favor. Because they start attacking uh, the troll for me and the gray doors, which is great. No, just the troll. Uh, so I get a brief respite for a minute here to clear out the gray doors, which is nice. FYI, early spoiler, the video begins as it ends with a troll. You'll see why after a bit. Anyway, the troll decides after he kills the skeleton, for whatever reason, he's just going to wander off. At this point, though, uh, I remember that I don't have, but I think, one or two pieces of my gear upgraded. So I decide it's actually a good time because I'm bound to get more hide from said one star troll to uh, help me out and upgrade the rest of my gear. So I decided to pick a fight and bring him back with me, right? And he decides he's going to wander off yet one more time. So again, I have to call his attention back and uh, big whiff twice. Yeah, plenty of arrows. It's okay. Don't worry about missing those. No big deal. Mountain out of a molehill here. For some reason, we thread the needle with that one, but we couldn't hit the other two that were wide open shots. Hit the copper. He actually didn't because he was too high up. His elevation wasn't right to connect with that node, but that's fine. Managed to hit every tree, though, which is great. I actually need to remember to go over and get those. Because these are all pines. And uh, they all have core wood. They're, they are all core wood. Uh, I actually, you can turn off the HUD. You have to do Control, Windows, and F3 to turn off your HUD in Valheim, FYI. Makes for some really nice cinematic shots. The problem is you can't see your health, the mob health. And uh, obviously you can't see your uh, reticle for aiming, but it's all right. Makes things a little more exciting. Working on winding him down. I know he's getting low because, well, he does have a lot of health for being one star, but... Ooh. Dramatic pause there. That was so close to hit me, I'm still not sure why it didn't hit me. To be fair. More skeletons. There's got to be a crypt over here somewhere. I. So this one's close to the coast. I need to remember where this is because I actually forgot. Um, I'm just now remembering in editing that it's close to the coast, so I have to remember that. Write that down. Decide to take a peek at my health and his. Okay, he's got about quarter left? A third left? Ugh. Another tree. Back off. I'm, I'm actually working on getting a thumbnail. For some reason thought I had a great idea for a thumbnail for the video. Turns out later the game provides me with a much better idea for a thumbnail. More damn trees. Because again, he can't manage to hit a copper node, but man, he can knock down every damn tree here. Case in point. Jerk. 
There you go. Yet again. Ooh. So close right there. Again, he should have hit me. Right back on. Very close. Let's let's just swap to uh Yeah, there you go. Swap to your flint arrows that you've been looting in the world. Uh good night, sweet prince. Troll booty. Giggity. Twenty troll hide. Get that upgrade. All right, we're gonna go back to base and uh, come back and get everything. Well, okay, except for we have friends now. Anyways, we're gonna get back to base and uh, get upgraded and we'll be back in a minute. You'd think by now they would have gotten a better graphic for that. Oh well, it's all good. Okay, so, oh, wait for the tide to go out. Get back across here. Again, still editing, recording video, ready, recording audio over uh, what I screwed up this morning recording. We're going to attempt this boss fight. Spoiler, I already know what happens, but I'm not going to tell you. You're going to have to watch it if you want to see. Let's spawn him in. See what happens here. And we do have all of our troll gear upgraded to... No, not all. Excuse me. We have our pants and top upgraded to level 3. Everything else is 2. Start him on fire here. One thing I miss about modded Valheim is when you equip your club, you, your shield is automatically equipped for you. I miss that very much. I wish that was just something base game would do for you, but eh, it is what it is. So we're going to go through the first few phases of this. And I'm going to try to cut out as much as I can. Oh, see, I... Again, used to it automatically equipping my shield for me, and I just shouldn't re rely on a game to do something for me. I need to do it for myself. actually didn't realize I didn't re prepare my own uh, club as well. Back in editing, I realized that, uh, yeah, my club started off damaged, pretty damaged. on you nerd that's what it's for not entirely sure what he's healing from this damage over time from me but once in a while he does heal up a little bit there you go sealed like a boss Something to that effect. Okay, well, you get the idea. I'm going to speed this up just a little bit here.
fight is taking forever. My gosh. All right. As long as it doesn't turn nighttime, we're going to be fine. At least with, if it's daytime, our stamina won't won't be terrible. You know, we need to get up there and start smacking on him. I think that'll really help. All right, just, just get up there and pound him once. That's all you got to do. Let's get him to where he spawns something and, and just smash him. We have lots of potions. We should be fine. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, there he is. Get him doing something. Get up there and smack him in the legs. Except that he hits you from a mile away because he has ginormous feet. Apparently. Stone for a campfire. Good thought, though. Trying to be more aware when he spawns those, because a lot of times one or two end up spawning behind you. <sighs> Come on. Yep. See? A mile away. You already got hit. Just go up there and smash him. Jump out of the way. There you go. Tried to get him again. Getting brave. Ah, stupid roots, man. Dang it. All right. Let's keep him on fire. We'll be fine. Had a good idea, didn't you? Wish we could get him to step on his own campfire or his own fire there at that cauldron. That would be amazing. See, like that root right there? I think it just caught itself. Ah, uh, it's nighttime. Damn it. Ugh. So now we're cold, so we're gonna start having stamina issues, which really sucks. So we realize that we're getting desperate to go up there and start smacking him more. Taking riskier chances. But we need to heal now, so. That's when I realized how badly my uh, bronze mace is damaged. Okay, we're doing pretty well here. We're trying to manage our stamina well enough with our health. But uh, we're getting desperate. Just gonna go in and just start smacking when we can. I realized too late that I didn't have my shield out. Yeah, so I took a large wood foot to the face. Uh, the worst hit though is coming up here. I managed to just get behind here. And then I go to jump across to avoid another root. But instead I land on three of them as he summons them. I get hit by two of them. Smack one and I get all of his roots to the face. So yeah. Let me bring you back when I get a little bit closer to getting him down. See you in a minute. Okay. Getting so much closer. So much closer. Right, wide berth. 
Here we go. Ah. He decided to come directly for me. I don't know why he did that. Big stump. No stamina. Oh, that would have been the that could have been the hit right there. Would have been it. I was so mad. I just did not have the stamina. Luckily, ugh. oh, oh yeah, look, we have a friend. Bad, bad, bad timing on his part. No idea where he came from, but yeah. Troll with a uh, log in his hand. Look how close the Elder is to dead. Just so close. If, if only the Elder had burned away right there, we'd have been done. Ooh. Tell you what, things were puckered up tight. So tight. Stamina is just killing me here. I missed. I missed that shot. Do you believe that shit? The troll was running major interference. Stamina was killing me. Could not get back up this hill, and he was right there behind me. Oh my god, I was so mad. Of course, they don't have stamina problems when they're in the water. But then the elder was just shoving his vines up my butt. Yeah. Give you three guesses if you can figure out what's going to happen next. Two health health. Yep. That happened. I'll be right back as soon as I respawn. Come grab my stuff. Alright. So, I've uh, gotten food. I've uh, healed. Naked run back to my body. Only the elder's waiting on me right there. Don't touch me, don't touch me. Ooh. All right. But guess who is waiting on me over by the water's edge? That's right. That guy. And I just realized I stammed myself out right before I hit him. God dang it. It's all right. Get your stam, get your stam. Walk, 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 walk. Come on. We've eaten, we're healing. Grab your gear. Just walk away, walk away. Put something on anything, just get the hell away. Get out of the inventory, man. Oh my god. Put your pants on. Put your pants on. Okay. I don't know why he decided to stop, but put your clothes on. Let him alone. Go take care of the elder. Let him stay there. Just let him cook. Oh, Jesus. All I know is that I'm glad that the Elder didn't A, despawn, and or B, heal back to full. Because we have no fire arrows left. They're all gone. I just realized that when I started throwing away all that extra crap out of my bag. So, yeah. Uh. So, he's got that much of his health left, which isn't that bad. Thank goodness. So, let's just go finish this. 
Just go whip him and be done with it. Hello, sir. Let's finish our fight. It's been enough of a mess. Let's just finish it up. God dang it. Get your shield out, man. Like how that looks like it sticks to the camera, or like your your fourth wall, basically. Such a weird view. Come on, just a couple shots. These are flint arrows. They're much better damage. No fire tick, that's fine. Like four shots, you should be done. No trolls, nope, no trolls. All right, just one more shot and then go over there and beat the hell out of him. Come on, go beat the hell out of him. Go, 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 go. Hulk smash. Only no Hulk hawks. Hulk smash. Cowabunga, dude. Ah. Yes. God. Screw you, tree man. Satisfaction. Now a little payback. Because we need a little bit of troll hide, and I think we can cap off our four piece at all level three. Yeah, because I have three pieces at level three and two pieces at level two. There he is. Yoo hoo. Hello. Oi. Remember me? Yeah, you do. Caber man. Yeah. Get through the trees, sir. God, you missed. You missed. A lot of core wood laying there. Would have been poetic justice if that tree had felled him. <laughs> He'll give me 10 and I have, I think, 4 or 6 back at the house. All I need is 12 to finish upgrading them. I'm going to grab as much core wood as I can and take back with us. Just because you always need core wood for something. And then, uh, uh, yeah, because I've got 50, 70 regular wood on hand, but we can get wood anytime, anywhere. Core wood you can only get in the Black Forest. So, we'll just finish leading up all the core wood here we can. It's already on the ground, might as well grab it. Plus, he did take time to cut it all down for us. May as well utilize it. Right hand chop, by the way, takes care of 
logs laying around or um, stumps. It's a straight down shop. enough let's go get a land bridge so we don't have to worry about uh, swimming through there every time sayonara for now Is all we need. The game was just catching up with everything I was doing. All right, the other hides and a little bit of uh, bones would be all we need to get uh, everything else upgraded. And FYI, if you didn't know, you can color your signs. Uh, vanilla. You don't have to have any mods to do that. Super simple. Yo, cape and hood. And we're all level three, which is nice. Sweet. That we need to go hang. Don't leave that there. Might as well put that in there. We can, we can do this homework. We can do this uh, house cleaning later. Let's go hang it up. People don't want to watch this. Come on, let's go. We can make fire arrows later. Let's go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. Good man. up the boss's head for the most pointless I think the most pointless uh... oh yeah just showing I've decided to start utilizing the plant everything mod in game I've never used it I've always wanted to you can play with the times of it have things spawn faster slower etc just always wanted to try it because I think you should be able to replant stuff in Valheim you currently can't, except for just a few of the things. Uh, what, turnips, carrots, and the um, biome-specific stuff? So, I decided I wanted to try it and play it. It's, I think it can be server-side only, but it can also be client-side only if you have the, the Bepinex stuff. So, I don't know. That could be problematic, I guess. Either way, I wanted to try it. So, I am. Here we go. Elder. Faster wood cutting. Nah. I'll keep uh, Ike here, which I hardly ever remember to use. I, that might have saved me earlier. Who knows? Alright, well. 